Welcome back, guys. Today is day 162. My name is Christian with today's daily Bible reading. Today we're going to be reading Acts 25, 13 to 27. And after some days, King Agrippa and Bernice came to Caesarea to greet Festus. When they had been there many days, Festus laid Paul's case before the king, saying, There is a certain man left a prisoner by Felix, about whom the chief priests and the elders of the Jews informed me when I was in Jerusalem, asking for a judgment against him. To them I answered, It is not the custom of the Romans to deliver any man to destruction before the accused meets the accusers face to face, and has opportunity to answer for himself concerning the charge against him. Therefore, when they had come together, without any delay, the next day I sat on the judgment seat and commanded the man to be brought in. When the accuser stood up, they brought no accusation against him of such things as I supposed, but had some questions against him about their own religion and about a certain Jesus, who had died whom Paul affirmed to be alive. And because I was uncertain of such questions, I asked whether he was willing to go to Jerusalem and there be judged concerning these matters. But when Paul appeased to be reserved by the decision of Augustus, I commanded him to be kept till I could send him to Caesar. Then Agrippa said to Festus, I also would like to hear the man myself. Tomorrow, he said, you shall hear him. So the next day, when Agrippa and Bernice had come with great pomp, and had entered the auditorium with the commanders and the prominent men of the city, at Festus's command, Paul was brought in. And Festus said, King Agrippa, and all the men who are here present with us, you see this man about whom the whole assembly of the Jews petitioned me, both at Jerusalem and here, crying out that he was not fit to live any longer. But when I found that he had committed nothing deserving of death, and that he himself had appealed to Augustus, I decided to send him. I have nothing certain to write to my Lord concerning him. Therefore I have brought him out before you, and especially before you, King Agrippa, so that after the examination has taken place, I may have something to write. So it seems to me unreasonable to send a prisoner and not to specify the charges against him. Let's go ahead and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for your word. Lord, as our nation begins to abide in customs that are against your word, Lord, you are building up soldiers of your kingdom. And they are praying against these evil practices. And to call those who are involved in these practices to repent. And even those who agree with them. And not standing up to what is right. Especially for our children. Lord, I just pray that everyone who believes in you. And in your word. Your love, your grace, and your mercy, God. That they speak up and stand bold for your word. Lord, I just pray for your children to stand up and speak the truth. As well as protect the children. And we stand by you, God, for you are our Father, our Leader, our Shepherd. In Jesus' name, our faith will be increased and for discernment to grow. For we do not battle against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities in heavenly places. Lord, I just pray that you open the eyes of everyone that abides in you. To all those Christians who say they believe in you and they listen to your word, they listen to sermons, they sing your songs. But God, open their eyes so that they know they must fully surrender to you in order to fully experience your grace and mercy or what it means to be fully surrendered and all in. No matter what you say, God, we have peace, we have hope, we have joy. Nothing will shake our faith. Lord, your church in America is so deceived as they're thinking as long as they know that Jesus Christ was real and he died on that cross that they're saved. But they need to know, they need to believe in your son to fully worship your Son and you, God, by the power of your Holy Spirit. Lord, and for those listening to this, that they completely come to you and they pray to you and to ask you what it truly means to be all in. Lord, I just pray against any worry and anxiety that people may have, that when we trust in you that it leaves, it's gone. There's no more doubt, but contentment in your Son to know that you're doing your work in things for your purpose and your will. You are the God of the universe. It goes your way, your timing. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. For day 163, go ahead and click on the link on the screen, and I'll see you guys in the next one.